Let's bring in our panel here to talk about all that's been going on. CampusReform.org media director Cabot Phillips is here. The one and only Charlie Gasparito also on hand with us here in the studio and former investment in, uh, banker Carol Roth. All right. Uh, good to see all three of you. We all heard the president's remarks together. There was nothing in there Thank about you for the, putting me through that, the issue. You're welcome, Charlie. That's I mean, you a, and Ralph, I definitely, you are, you, I'm coming to get you. You, you were here for your, your report. I you, had, just listening to that, I just, I'll, yeah. never, I'll never get back that. 20 minutes of my life. And imagine us, and, and imagine us trying to listen to the president speak when we had to listen to you. Another story altogether. Uh, Carol, to, again, to me, the big picture here, the president really talked about this in these remarks, but the big picture, the market's down 300 points, Gary Cohn leaves, is this question about are we seeing something of a, of a big shift in focus towards protectionism away from any kind of talk of free trade, away from an administration that had been characterized in year one as pro-business? Is it still? I think that we don't know. I think it remains to be seen. I I think it really depends from a tariff standpoint if this something, it's something that ends up isolated, whether that's in terms of geography, um, targeted at China, yeah. if it's in terms of industry, focused just on steel and aluminum, or if it broadens out. And it also depends on who comes in to replace Gary Cohn. We heard from Blake earlier that Larry Kudlow's a big name that's being thrown out there. He's very free market, so I think that sort of balances the, it out. The other thing that we heard from Blake, I go to you on this, Charlie, is that it, it will not be, at least not now, and things change uh, by by the minute at the at the White House, but Peter Devaro uh, has taken his name out of consideration in public comments. You know today, what's funny? So. Is I, I, Larry's a friend of mine. Full disclosure, I speak to him regularly. Uh, the I, I, if listen, I think everybody wants to be part of the game, I guess, right? But for Larry, ha needs to do a gut check here. If 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 someone like Gary Cohn, who's a Democrat on a lot of issues, liberal, progressive on a lot of issues, not on trade, but if a guy like that cannot be in this administration. Well, how, the same thing with Cudlow, How right? can you? And let's, we should just unpack how Gary Cohn left. Um, yesterday, I reported at about 1.50 yeah. that his friends were telling, one of his best, one of, a very good friend of his that works on Wall Street, and it was more than that. They were telling people that he's likely not to leave on this, that he still wanted to be part of the administration, that, you know, he's not going back to Goldman, you know, at least he doesn't know if there's a clear path back to Goldman, but he still wanted to be part of the game in Washington, and he thought he might be able to get through the tariff stuff and uh, still be a player and a voice for reason on trade. What happened? This is what happened. The president called him, called everybody in the office, and this is a president says he wants divergent viewpoints, and he made sure every one of his cabinet answered the question, are they for tariffs or not? Now, if you're Gary Cohen... Would they support his policy? Yeah, would they, they support the tariffs they stand policy? With the president now, policy? obviously, if you're telling Gary Cohn that, he can't say yes, right? So he was effectively fired. Now, here is where it gets interesting. If you are putting Gary Cohn to the test on this one thing, you are basically signaling, I think, that you're becoming much more protectionist. Well, yeah, and much more protectionist about in this, this environment week. is not good for the market. That's what the president has been, though, for 30-plus years, which we've no, talked but about no one, no, Here's the thing. The difference now yes. is that nobody rationally thought he was going to carry it out. Well, a lot but, of people didn't believe it for whatever I, reason. Yes. Let me get Cabot in and get your views on this. And as I do so, mm -hmm. I'm going to point to the president's uh, Twitter account today. His last couple of tweets have actually been about China. And if the next trade action is going to be watched closely, it's going to be about that. A lot of people thought this should have been first, Cabot, yeah. but he's talked about going after China for intellectual property theft, for example. It so. is interesting to see. I think China, for many people, is an easy enemy. For the administration especially, even with the steel aluminum tariffs, China was not that impacted by those tariffs. Yeah. It's mainly Canada and the EU were the yeah. two hardest hit by those things. But do you think, I mean, you're, when you, you look at the administration, you though, you think we're in it. this big shift that we've been trying to figure out if we are, and if this is really just plain and simply a protectionist administration now from an economic point of view? It's not surprising, given what Trump was saying throughout the campaign. This is not new right. rhetoric. It's, I know. The action is surprising that it's definitely like going nobody, there, given, given <laughs> Comb is in there. But this no. is a global thing we've been seeing. Look at what's happening with Brexit. Look at what's happening in Italy and Germany, sure. the unrest there. This is definitely a time where but protectionism they, is rising but, and this, is, but is rising. this is this is this is concerted now if it was no. just tariffs it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world obviously it's not that great but you know is it nafta next and i think that's the whole thing without having cohen in there cohen in there you you the, the markets are saying He's not stopping here. He's going full-on protections, which we never really thought he was going to do. Uh, that he's not more than just the rhetoric of, I'm going to craft better trade deals. He's actually going to implode trade deals. And, and in a really, re and, in a really difficult time for right. that, yeah. given the fact that we're facing potentially increased inflation and higher deficits, high, higher, deficits higher interest rates. If yeah. this was happening in a different environment, the market what, would be there, act, is, reacting differently. Is there ever a good time, though, for this, these, type of, these type of economic I mean, not, policies? I'm a free markets person, so I think that we grow the pie by having free markets. 
market trade. I think that's the way we make America better. So I am not in favor of it. But particularly now, this is something that could was, bring the growth. But do you guys all agree? You, you studied this a lot. When was the last time it worked? Ne it never. I mean, we've it's seen just, this un yeah, under doesn't. many administrations, including under Bush. We lost a lot of jobs. It was rolled back. This is not something we've had Reagan, tried, be we've, Ra Reagan wasn't, we've tried wasn't, it before. And here's one other thing, what I think scares the markets. You have a, the president is on very strong ground going after China on, in, on the theft of intellectual property right. and uh, artificial intelligence and all this sort of stuff that is the new economy, right? That they, kind of steal. That, that kind of steal is what he should be going really, after. Well, stealing. also, that kind yeah. of that's, what, that's what people are worried Being about. Being targeted. Why aren't you going in? After that first, exactly, right, and not this other stuff. Which yeah. let's be real clear. All right, we got the production of steel and aluminum is a, is is done very efficiently. This isn't going to create a lot of jobs. We got to run here because of uh, the time we took to take the president's speech. Was Charlie <laughs> and, and by the way, every word on the, the speech beginning was just pure gold. You do, yeah. You're you're. He was a big fan. As Neil would say, <laughs> you're such a hater, aren't you? All right, thanks, guys. We appreciate it.